Hello, preschool friends. It's Miss Janelle here. We're going to find out what sinks in water and what floats. Now, if you want to go on the water and you want to go a long, long way, you get in and you row a boat. That's right. So we're going to start out by just singing that song. Pretend like you're grabbing onto some oars and row your boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Boat rhymes with float. Can you think of anything else that rhymes with boat, float, throat? And there's something that you wear when it's cold outside. Coat, boat, float, throat, coat. Those are all good, good words that rhyme. So now we're going to find out when we put things in the water, what will, what will sink down to the bottom and what will float up to the top. We're going to be like scientists today. We're going to record our observations on this handy dandy chart. I'll scoop myself over here. And our first item that we're going to put into the bowl of water is a metal spoon. Now, little scientists, make your prediction. Do you believe it will sink to the bottom or float to the top? Okay, predictions registered. Let's test our predictions. Drop it in. And look at that. It sinks all the way down to the bottom. So, on the side that says sink, I'm going to put metal spoon. I wrote metal spoon because we also have a plastic spoon. What do you think the plastic spoon is going to do? Think it'll sink to the bottom like the metal spoon did or float on the top? Let's find out. Hmm, that's very strange. It has halfway sunk to the bottom and it's halfway floating at the top. I did not expect that. I think we're going to have to make a third column right in the middle for a plastic spoon that is half sinking and half floating. That's a new one for me. Now I also have a wooden spoon. Let's find out. Will it sink or float? Nope. Oh, it is floating right there at the top. So on the float side, we're going to put wooden spoon. Okay, I'll take these two spoons out to make room for some other things. What do you think an apple will do in the water? Let's see. Well, that is definitely floating. The apple floats. I'll take that out. I'm going to reach way over here and get a tiny little orange, a cutie. Let's see what it does. Oh, the orange floats too. How about that? All right, we'll take it out and let's try a little washcloth. Hmm. What do you think? think? The washcloth will sink to the bottom or float? All right, start it out floating. And then it sinks straight down. Sink. Washcloth. What else? I better take that out. Make room for my other things. Okay. How about a little uh, cork that you put on the top of a bottle of oil? Let's see. Oh, that floats. Okay, we'll take that out. Here I have a clip that I use to clip bags of chips closed. Let's try that. Sink right down to the bottom. Clip goes to the bottom. Now, what about, I keep seeing this, a baby's binky. Let's see what happens. That is floating. The binky floats. All right, 
Let's just do two more things. I have a toothpick and a penny. We're gonna do those at the same time. Do you think they will both sink or both float? Or one sink and one float? Let's try them and see. Mm, the penny is right down there at the bottom and the toothpick is floating here at the top. So the penny sinks and the toothpick floats to the top. This has been quite an interesting experiment for me. And these are just things that I found around my kitchen. So you could try this too. You could try it with a bowl of water at the kitchen table like I did, or you could even gather up some things right before bath time, if your parents say it's okay, and take some things into the bathtub to experiment with what floats to the top and what sinks down to the bottom. I hope you've enjoyed our science for today. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.